All right, uh, welcome back guys. So in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the data augmentation process. So what we're gonna be doing is uh, transposing the images. So basically uh, we're gonna flip them across the Y axis and that will yield us a new image. It's technically, you know, it's gonna depict the same thing, but the image is gonna be flipped. So that means we're gonna have to, you know, come up with new bounding box coordinates because the old image, uh, you know, had bounding box coordinates. And now the new flipped image is going to have the plastic bags at a different uh, position. So we're gonna have to come up with a new points for those bounding boxes. So what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, actually trans, I mean, we're going to uh, transpose every image from the train and test set. So that means we're going to have double the amount of training images and double the amount of test images. And we're also going to have to add the information regarding those uh, to our uh, data frames. So basically this is what we're gonna be doing. As you can see, this is what happens when you reflect across the Y axis. So this is the old image and this is gonna be the new image over here. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I don't wanna to get too much into the mathematical details of uh, matrixes and, and how you transpose those. I hope you guys uh, understand that. So, you know, you can have uh, transpose images and this is how you transpose an image basically as you can see the first row becomes the first column the second row becomes the second column and the third row becomes the third column so this is uh what we're doing basically if you're going to get into the math or behind the math then you know get into all those uh how you transpose things and everything but i won't be doing that so what i'm going to be doing is first uh this lesson actually is more of a theory lesson, so you don't uh, necessarily have to follow along and, and code with me. I always recommend you do that, but it's, uh, it's, it's not necessary. So we're going to take a look at this image and we're going to transpose it and see what happens and what changes. So before we do that, let's get all the information regarding this image. So how do we do that? I'm going to say final underscore test underscore df and final underscore test underscore df we're going to access the image path image path equals and this is the image so we're going to copy the path and paste it final okay this is supposed to be final so this is the information regarding this image. So we're gonna have to first, I wanna show you guys just this image and when we draw the bounding box around it. And actually I'm going to copy one of our previous cells because basically we've done the same thing before. I don't know if you remember, but this cell. And we're just going to change the image uh, path, sorry. The image path and the uh, bounding box information. So I'm going to come down over here. Let's paste it. I don't need these, these comments. So I'm going to delete those comments. And what we're going to do is change the image path. So this is the image path I want. And we're going to change it over here like this. And we also have to change the, these bounding box uh, coordinates with these. So the X min is going to be 0.3492. The X max is going to be 0.5833. The Y min is going to be equal to 0 0.3, no, 0 0.2, sorry, 0 0.2875. I'm just reading these values over here. And the Y max is going to be equal to 0 0.5269. So now, as you can see here is this image with the bounding box uh, drawn around it. So how do we flip the image and how do we also, you know, change the coordinates of the uh, bounding box? So this lesson you might have to rewatch uh, because I'm going to, you know, I'm going to uh, show a little bit of uh, math and we're going to do some work with some graphs. I actually created a very bad looking graph, <laughs> but I think you will understand what's uh, happening. So don't worry guys, I know here's a lot of information, but I'm gonna talk about everything. 
So let's suppose this is my image, okay? Um, and do note that in uh, computer vision, usually, almost always, 0, 0 uh, is the top left corner of an image, and the height goes down. So the y value goes uh, ascending here, so it goes all the way down to 1,000, and the x value goes this way, and it's going to be 500. So don't let this confuse you. This 1,000 is regarding the height of the image. So it goes down from 0 to 1,000, and the width goes from zero, so here we have the width, the, this uh, x value, and it goes to 500. So as you can see, the image is uh, 1,000 uh, tall and 500 in width. So now, this w2 is, I know this is not perfect, but I tried to cut up this uh, rectangle into two. So this shows the uh, half of the image. So w is the width divided by two is going to be 1,000. I mean, a 500, because remember, our width is 500, so 500 divided by 2 is 250, as you can see over here. So now, when we're flipping across the y-axis, because that's what we're, uh, we're flipping across the uh, y-axis, so when you flip across the y-axis, you're going to get this point is going to come over here, so this is going to be the new point, and this old point, this old x max, is going to be this new point over here. And do note that when you're uh, flipping uh, points across the y axis, uh, then only the x coordinates change, right? Because as you can see, the point still has the same y coordinate. So this uh, y coordinate is the same as this y coordinate. The only the x changed from it's going to change from uh, 350 to 150, and the x min is going to change from 300 to 200, right? But the y coordinates are the same. In this case, this line over here is probably around 800 because this is a thousand, so this is probably around 800, and this is probably around 600. But as you can see, this is also at 600, and this is also at 600. And so that's why uh, what I'm going to do is only uh, worry about the x coordinates. Like I said, the y coordinates stay the same when you flip across the y axis. So the x min, as you can see, is at 300, so 300 over here. And the x max is 350, which you can see over here. So the new value for, let's start with the uh, this one for 300. So the new value for this is going to be this. But how do we get this? So the new value is going to be w over 2 minus dfm. And the dfm, this is something that I came up with. So it's actually distance from middle. Uh, I know there's more, you know, uh, fancier mathematical terms as you could describe it. But I think this is the easiest for you guys to understand. So this is distance from middle. So the w divided by 2 is 250, right? Because the width of the image is 500. When you divide that by 2, you get 250. And the distance from middle, basically, is going to be the x-coordinate value. So for the x-min, this was 300, minus w over 2, which is half of the width of the image. So as you can see, the distance from the middle, let's look at the, for the x one, is going to be 300 minus the w2, and the w2 is at uh, 250. So 300, basically, 300 uh, minus 250. As you can see, this is what we get over here. So let's get the new x coordinate for the uh, this point over here. So it's going to be 250, right? Because that's the w divided by 2, minus the distance from middle, which is going to be the x coordinate, which is 300, minus, again, the w divided by 2, and if you do that, you get 200. So as you can see, the new coordinate is going to be 200 over here. As you can see, the y, y value hasn't changed. The new value is, x value is at 200. Now, for the new value for this point, uh, we do the same thing. w divided by 2 minus distance from middle, and that's going to be equal to 250 minus the value, which is at 350, minus uh, w divided by 2, which is 250, and you actually get 150. So if you flip this from 350, you go all the way, and the x value is going to be at 150. 
And the funny thing is, uh, be careful because now this is actually going to be this old X Men is going to become the X Max. And this old X Max comes over here and it's going to become the X Men, right? Because X Max, the new value here is 200. And, you know, the X Max is the largest uh, number. Uh, going in the X direction and 200 is greater than 150. So the X min actually became the X max and the X max became the X min. So I hope this was uh, somewhat clear. If it wasn't, then uh, try to rewatch the video because I, I think it's actually, uh, I tried my best to be, you know, show as much detail as I can. However, if you're still struggling, struggling, uh, feel free to comment uh, and I will try my best to help you out. So now that we have this, uh, we understand what's going on, let's actually um, apply what we have learned uh, from my beautiful sketch <laughs> and basically look at this same image, but let's try to, let's transpose the image and let's also create new bounding box coordinates for it. So that's what we're going to be working on in the next video.